Hi my friends, welcome to another video. This is Diamond Painting with Coco. Coco is my dog Chihuahua if you're new to my channel. And my name is Rainy and I welcome you here. I wanna thank all my subs for returning. And if you're new here, I hope you like the content and you choose to stay. Sorry, I've been running around. I just sat down. Um, I'm going to be kitting up this Diamond Dots. It's called Lavender Sunset. As you can see, I have cut one of the legends off and put it through my Zylon sticker maker. That is because I have kitted up a Diamond Dots before. Now, I've never seen anyone kit up a Diamond Dots. I've seen people unbox them on their channels. This is gonna be a long video. I'm just giving you a heads up, um, which you can probably tell by this timestamp. I've never seen anyone kit up a Diamond Dots. Now, Diamond Dots, as most of you know, I'm sure you guys know, let me grab my garbage can. I'm sure many of you guys know that they don't go by DMC order. They go by this 8,000 number system, which is great. That's fine. Um, however, the legend is not in order. None of these numbers are in any observable order, like at all. They're all mixed up. So, and I did this other video, I, I kitted up, I did a kit up video of my succulents. And like I said, I thought about doing the one through 38. This has 38 colors. However, if I just label them one through 38, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna have to look at the legend to see what symbol, number, etc. it is. If I, and also when I go to kit down, I'm going to have to look at each, I'm going to have to go back and forth from the DMC to, or the diamond dot DMC. I'm going to have to do 80, 8110, 8097, 8001. I'm going to be flipping back and forth between all of those, which I'm going to have to do anyway. So there's really no good way for me to kit this up. So what I thought is I will go ahead and cut off the legend, which I didn't want to do. The last one, what I did was I just took the numbers that like the 8128 and I wrote it on a sticker and then I put the symbol next to it. And then what I did is I put all the numbers in order. Okay. Which seemed to work just fine for me. I, you know, you guys know me, I, I kit up by DMC order. Um, so it ended up being fine for me this time. I'm like, should I kit up? There's so many symbols. There's only three numbers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, if you count that, seven, eight, nine, if you count that, 10 letters. Where's the front of this? I need to, this is the, uh, I don't have the, what do you call it? When you can move it around tape. I have the permanent tape on here. I don't, they're always out of the, um, Re, oh, repositional, that's what it is. They're always out of that tape. So I'm just gonna put this on here if it'll stick. <laughs> I've been getting some really bad washi tape lately. Okay, so we're gonna put the washi tape on here. There's 38 colors. I don't know if I am going to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I guess I'll think it out while I'm I don't think this washi tape is gonna stick. I had the same problem with some other washi tape that I had. I don't have any scotch tape. So, is it sticking? Kind of, I don't really need that much washi tape. Just need a little bit of it. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if I should do Get it up by numbers, letters, and then symbols, or if I should just put it all in order of numbers so that when I go to kit down, it's easier for me to, I'm gonna take these out, to sort through the, the conversion over to DMC. I'm kind of leading in that direction. Um, and just organizing it by the, by the number. Oh, these are not sticking. I could just try to get them 
or put the label on there, but I'm really scared that it's gonna be, like it says, permanent. Especially with it being a, a legend, like, like canvas, you know? That would be a nightmare to get off. I have another kit that I have kitted up. It's for my calendars, I believe. For my calendars um and i put it on there without even thinking so that'll be interesting to see if it comes off of there i'm not sure if it will but we'll see it'll be until december until i figure that out okay well it's kind of it's mostly sticking so and i lost my edge here i lost my edge How did I lose it so? Oh, come on, Remy. Here we go. There's lines on it too, it's lined, so it's really hard to see. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do this and cut out these labels. I'm, this is going to be the second diamond dot that I've done, and um, I'm just, I don't know of a good way to kit these up. I don't, I don't know what, like, what do they, ex how do they expect you to kit these up? I guess just by symbols and stuff, but then when you go to kit it down... I guess they don't care that you're kidding it down to the DMC is what it is because they're just like, well, you're going off of our system. So they're not taking that into consideration. Whereas I am at least, cause I save my drills. Maybe, you know, if you don't save your drills, you don't need to do, you don't, it, I mean, it's not gonna matter to you. You can just kit up as far as symbols or um, numbers or whatever, and then just toss your drills. So yeah, it wouldn't matter if you weren't keeping your drills, but I am keeping my drills. And so I wanna know the DMC and I don't wanna be flipping back and forth between my conversion chart. This number, that number, this number, that number. Well, this morning's been uneventful for me. Completely uneventful. Had some breakfast, had some coffee, had some breakfast. Ugh. I only worked out for like 10 minutes because I had other stuff to do. Made my husband's lunch up the kitchen, swept and mopped the floor, and then I was like, I want to dump, Ugh, I lost it again, and I was like, I want to diamond paint, <laughs> I need something to diamond paint, and I'm, my goals for April obviously are changing for me, well you guys wouldn't know that, but my goals originally were to do small paintings, this is a small painting, but one of them was, or three of them were the coffee paintings that I have been working on, which I did do one of them. But then I decided after I had done the one, I'm like, I really don't want to work on these other two. I would rather work on something else. The, the coffee ones are nice, but I just, I'm just not feeling it. So... I'm like, what else can I work on that's a small painting? Because that's my goals, that's the, or those are my goals for this month, they're small paintings. I've been doing a lot of large paintings and um, I wanna do some small ones, so. And 
that's my goal. And I'm working on the mandalas still. I've done two. So I just started doing them. Hopefully I have posted the put up video to that before I post this so that you guys aren't confused. Sometimes I post videos and I'm like, wait, why did I post this one before that one? I just forget. Yeah, these are suspect, aren't they? Well, I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hmm, that might be another motive for me to put them, okay, it's not gonna, yeah. Another motive for me to put them in order of number in case they fall off then I'll know um, I think I'm just gonna do it in order of number a lot of you guys are like no do it for numbers and letters and symbols there, I'm telling you guys there's so many symbols it's mostly symbols easier looking at it I guess like if one of these fell off I would know which one it was but if they're all starting to fall off like this one is just this was not a good idea I could I guess I could have done double-sided tape I guess I don't have any scotch tape so I could have done double-sided tape that would have worked but then it would have gotten all ucky Don't get cheap washi tape, people. I lost it again. Here it is. Today's gonna be a nice day outside. It's nice and sunny, which is a nice change. Makes me wanna Go do stuff outside, kind of. <laughs> Except for I can't diamond paint out there. It's too cold to diamond paint outside right now. Oh, please stick, please stick. How many of these have I done now? I think this is 39 that's in this um, case because I took the other ones out. Like that one, I should take that one too. Four, no, I should have left that one in there. Did I bump you? I'm sorry. You're probably done in pain, so you didn't see that. Pretend you didn't see that if you did. Here, let me stop. There we go. I don't want to make you guys dizzy. This is part of kidding up, part of the process. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four. 26, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. We only need four more. Okay, that's not going to take this one out. Wait, which one has the most? Oh. I love the Zyron sticker maker. Makes it really nice because you can do this. You can cut off the legend and make a sticker out of it. I just don't like that I have to cut it off though because when it's in my portfolio, then it's like, mm. and now I can't really put washi tape around the outside either because part of it is missing. Okay, I think I counted correctly. I think this is all of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight. Okay, we're done. We're done with the washi. Please stay on there. 
Okay, so we're gonna cut our stickers here. I don't know, I still don't know how I'm gonna do it. Boy, I wish I would have seen somebody kit up a diamond dots. I mean, you can do it however you want. It's up to you, it's up to you but. Um, Yeah, this is gonna be really hard to kit up by number, I just realized, because there's 38 colors. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna sit here and look at all these numbers. It would be way easier to kit up by symbol. Because at least I can see those easier. Okay, I'll just do it by symbol. I'm not good at doing that, as you guys know. I'm, I'm really new to doing it that way. So bear with me, because I always kit up by DMC number. I don't kit up by letter number, all that kind of stuff. I did with my paint gem. That was the very first time I've ever done that. So please be kind in the comments <laughs> or to me um, with this kitting up because it's gonna, I'm gonna be confused and make mistakes and have to jumble stuff around and um, I only know what I've seen from you guys doing it. That's all I know, so. We'll see how this goes. You and me together. Yeah, I just wish there was an easier way to kit this up. Maybe there is, and I'm just complete. my brain is just completely missing it. I just think that they don't care about the DM. They're, they're just like, nope, dude. They just don't care about the DMC. Okay, so we're gonna do, do we have the letter A? We do, down here. So we're gonna do A first, it's a lowercase a. I didn't see a B, let's see. No B, C. D, we have an F, E, we don't have an E, so, right, we don't have an E. Do we have anything that looks like an E? No, so we'll do F next. G, H, we have an H. I, is there anything that looks like an I? Or that is an I? No, J, we do have a J. I don't know how companies like decide what ones they're gonna do. I thought I said, okay, yeah, we have a K. And do we have an L or anything that looks like an L? I think we do, right here. I know this isn't an L, but it looks like an L to me. L. Oops, I kind of missed the washi right there. L, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Do we have an M? I thought, did I see an M? No, but I saw an N. N. Do we have an O? No, but we do have a P. You guys do numbers first or letters first? I don't know, I'm doing letters first. P, Q, do we have, I don't think we have a Q. Q, no, R, S. Okay, we have two T's. We have a lowercase T. We don't have an S lowercase t and what I would consider to be an uppercase t. U V 
V. I thought I saw a V. No. Okay. Well, you know what? This looks like a T too, because it's an upside down T. So we'll do that. V, W. No, but we have an X. We have a Y. Do we have a, I know that's not a Y, but it looks like a Y. Is a Z, do we have a Z? Okay, so now I'm gonna do numbers. We have one. This is where I'm starting to get nervous. Two. Three. And that's it for numbers. Why didn't they give us more numbers? Okay, so now I'm going to do circles. So, circles. Maybe I'm not gonna do circles. There's one. Let's do, let's do dots. Okay, I would consider this a dot. That looks like a dot to me. This looks like a dot to me. Well, it is a dot. Um, this is a dot. How am I doing, guys? Okay, dot. And these, there's three dots on here, so I would consider that a dot. Oh, shoot, I missed the number nine. Not a big deal. Just switch them around. Oops. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, and there's a seven, too. Okay. Not a big deal. I am going to put these other ones in here because these are moving around a lot. And I don't want them to move around this much. Okay, nine. Okay, so we've got our dots. Oops. We've got our dots. Okay. Why do you guys move them around so much? Okay, so we've got our dots. Now, let's see what we have. Let's go with arrows, because we've got some arrows going on here. So we've got, I think we have too many arrows. We've got that arrow, arrow, excuse me. We've got this arrow. I would consider this to be an arrow. We've got this arrow. There are way too many arrows on here, but that's good because I can close, cluster them all together. Another arrow. Another, that, oh, that's not an arrow. That's, oh, another arrow. Okay. Okay. Five arrows. Six arrows. Yeah, that's what I need. Six arrows. Okay. Um. Now we'll do lines. So I have an equal sign. And I have a, just a slash. I consider that a line. Do I have any other lines? How am I doing, guys? Am I doing okay? Lines. Okay. Um, and the rest are just kind of random. I'm trying to see if there's a pattern to any of them. There's not. So we're just going to do, should we do math symbols? I've heard of people doing that before. So we have the plus symbol, and we have the percentile. Maybe I should have done the check mark as an error, as a arrow. Should I change that? No, it's not really an arrow. Okay, and the rest I'm just going to go ahead and, did I make enough? I did 38, didn't I? Yeah, okay. The rest I'm just gonna put on here. These will be my miscellaneous, like. Ooh, that could have been an arrow right there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That's it, I did it. So we have 
number or we have letters we have numbers then we have dots does this row have yeah okay that's my problem I'm like why are these not lining up then we have okay then we have dots then we have Okay, this got out of order. Okay, this is why I'm confused. Dots. Okay, then we have arrows. Then we have... See, how did this... This system, I will say this system is a little wonky because I do get stuff out of order. Okay, then we did arrows. Then we did um, an equal sign... A percentage sign. Oh, the wasn't this supposed to be with lines? Yes. Well, it can be with math symbols too. So let me switch these two around. Okay, so then we have math symbols. We have equal, percentage, and a plus sign. And then we have random. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six that are kind of random. I could have put this one with the arrows and I'm wondering if I should change that. It's a triangle though, but it kind of is an arrow. But I did use this one as an arrow too. So maybe I will, I'll leave it. Okay, so that's it. And let me show you the colors that we have going on in here. Okay, so I did it. I put it up. Good job, Amy. Pat on the back. We don't need that because I'm going to start working on this. Well, we're going to put it up. <laughs> so, see, okay. Are these in order? Yes, they are, even though they're backwards. Okay, so... Now see, this is, oh my gosh. Okay, not a big deal. A1, A1. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's, it's like there's no, there's no like, good way to kick this up in my opinion. Okay, this is a pretty purple. All right, so A1 is the number one. We're gonna pray for no static since I didn't bring my static card. So one, okay, one right here. Okay, A2. Wouldn't it be number two? Yeah, okay. And this is A2, yes. Trey's being a little sticky for some reason. Okay, so number two goes back to number two. Okay, I'm getting this now. A3 is number three. The rest I will not get because they will be out of order. I'm gonna put that there so I know where I got it. A3. Oh, well, this looks like it's um, 310. Boy, hardly. Oh, I bet this is for the birds in the sky. The birds are really hard to see um, in person, but when I look at it through the camera, I can see the birds clearly. So it must be for the birds. For the birds. Okay, A4. Nope, now we're not going in. A4 is 
this symbol for some reason. Okay. Oops, I forgot to put my... All those spells, I will just redo it if these get so out of order from me doing this. sticky. I don't know. I just got this out of my toolbox. I probably have not even ever used this tray before. So odd. Okay. Um, the next one is a five. <sighs> See, I should have just kitted it up. Well, no, I shouldn't have. I, I need to stop questioning myself. It's just, it's really hard to find these when they're in. I could look for the 8,000 number too, but it's it's easier to look for the, like the 8485, whatever number. Oh, the sun's shining. So beautiful. Hardly any of that color. Okay, A6. A6. Boy. Here it is. The letter K. A6. Just double check in here. Oops. Today, people. So I hope you guys are diamond painting or doing something relaxing. Maybe you're doing something fun. Well, diamond painting is fun. Have you guys gotten into the clean uh, spring cleaning um, mood yet? I think it's starting to hit me. Spring cleaning. Okay, it's. Seven. A seven right here is number seven. Should I have known that? Probably not. They do it in no discernible order whatsoever. Yeah, I've kind of been feeling like I need to like, I don't know, go through stuff and um, get stuff ready for donation or I don't know, just, um, there's one in the, uh, I don't know. Are these completely out of order now? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, eight. <laughs> I don't think I like this at all. Oh, I need to find a, a different way to do this. This is, have I had worse kit up? Yes, but that was due to static. <laughs> Not due to the fact that everything was out of order. Okay. Please be kind in your comments if you're like, why did you do it this way? It's just my, I, this is how my brain works. And um, I usually go off of numbers. So this is just the way that my brain works. Okay. Oh, nine. Oh nine, where's oh nine? Here it is. Yeah, my brain goes off of numbers. Usually when I kit up a normal kit, have I not said this nine times now, I use the DMC number. So, okay, A10, I did see A10, where did I see it? A10. 
A10, A10, here it is. I love these um, Harbor Freight lookalikes. This, um, I would tell you where I got this. Um, or I, I think I know where I got this. I think I got this from Timu, but it was an accident. I did not order this. I ordered something different. Okay, A11. And I got this instead. And I was like, I'm not mad about it. And I really like these even better than the Harbor Freight because stuff doesn't get stuck in this hinge as much, as much. Um, they, they hold just as much as the Harbor Freight. I don't know how much this one was though, like I said, because I got it by accident. I remember opening it and being like, what is this? I think I had ordered the cube, the cubes, the ones that are separated, they're all separated and you like squeeze them to open them. I think I had ordered those and got this instead. A12. A12. Here it is. All right, well, I'm getting the hang of it, so. There's nothing like sucking completely out of order. You want your kit-ups to be organized and, you know, at least I do. I can't stand chaos. 813, I see it, I actually see it. It came right after 812. Go figure, because these were in random order. Well, I have, I think I have eight of these kits, 814, or A14, what am I saying? Eight, A14, A14, here it is. And I, I think by the time I have, I'm on my fourth one, I will have figured out a better way to do this. Maybe I'll find somebody who has kitted one up and see what they do. Because like I said, I've, I've seen people unbox these, but I have yet to see somebody kick them up. A15 right here, wow, that was quick. Yay. I see a lot of unboxings on YouTube, but I don't see, um, a lot of the kidding ups of the unboxings. Have you guys noticed that? Like I see a lot of kidding ups, but I don't, I see more unboxings than I do kidding ups, I guess. A16. I guess that would make sense because you would need to get your store or your stash going. You would have a lot in your stash and you can't work on them as fast, so. You would have more unboxings than big ups. I'm not really, I don't, my goal isn't really a specific number of paintings this month. A17. It's just, my goal is just small paintings. So A17. The coffee ones I can't show you guys. So I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, and I can't show you my calendar either. So those will not be something where I'm gonna be showing you for my April in review. And I thought, well, I'll still work on the coffee ones and obviously I'm gonna do my calendar, but I wanted something to be able to show you guys. A18. Because I'm not messing around with copyright. If I have any question whatsoever in my mind, it is not going on my channel. I do not believe in using non-licensed artwork. I'm only using the ones that I did when I first started diamond painting. I think everybody, when they first diamond paint, start diamond painting, make that mistake. They just, you know, like, like me, I just started buying diamond paintings. I didn't know any better. I had no, I had no clue. And I probably still have a clue about a lot of stuff about diamond painting, but I'm learning A19. 
A19. My one year anniversary will be in July. Second to the last one that I was looking for. So I'm just a baby when it comes to that thing. I've learned so much though. I have. I should give myself some credit. I, I have learned a lot. And I learned a, a lot of it from other creators on YouTube. Um, I suggest if you're new, new to diamond art, di or diamond art, eight, if, if you're new to diamond painting, I suggest that you watch as many creators' channels as possible. Um, there's there's great creators out here, and um, you'll learn something new from each one of them. I also have a lot of videos if you're interested in that. I have storage videos. I have um, unboxings, kidding up, kidding down. What am I looking for? A21. A21. Okay. I mean, I just now, within the last, what, what, was, what is it, a couple, two weeks? I just learned how to film my videos properly. So I have all of these videos that are filmed like with my phone going the other way. Jeez. Okay, A22. We're not doing too bad here, people. I'll be honest with you for how this is going. It's going pretty good, A22. A22. I broke my nail. Telling you my nails are so bad. Yeah, broke my nail and I have a hangnail. Okay, A23. A23. So I think, and this might be a trigger warning, so um, I'll give you a minute. It's all, I'm only going to talk about it for like 30 seconds. So, um, I've been washing my hands a lot and I do have OCD and I'm starting to actually kind of be self-conscious about how much I'm washing my hands. So I kind of need to watch that. I do a lot of things. I do a lot of weird things. Really weird things. Okay, done talking about that now. A25. A25. Oh, right here. Yay. First one. And it's the ladder lowercase a. None of us are perfect, right? A26. So that's why I think my nails, I, that's what I was trying to say is I think my nails, my hands are getting dry and my nails are breaking because I'm washing my hands too much. Come on out, buddy. Okay, what do we got next? A27. Right here. Yeah, I like the storage system. I'm not sure how I like this part of it being lengthwise like that. You know? kind of like stuff to be like in a square or I don't really like the rectangle part. I don't know why. I have no reason why. Okay, A28. I feel like I'm playing bingo. A28. A28. Bingo! <laughs> I just 
realize how much that sounds like bingo. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember last time I played. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It was like back in 2008 or 2009. Yep. I remember that. It was a long time ago. I actually won a couple of times. A29. A29. Eh, I'm not really into that kind of stuff, but we were at like this, um, we used to own a cabin, 829, 829, A29, A29, Rainy, A. We used to have a cabin on some property and it was like a, one of these like camping club type things. And we built, we built a cabin. We had a little lot and we had a trailer on it too. And um, they were having like a bingo night. Everybody was getting together. So we did it with the kids. The kids had so much fun. Okay, A30. I just saw A30. I just saw it. Where is it? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Everybody had golf carts. We didn't have a golf cart, but everybody had a golf cart. And we used to have a golf cart parade and stuff like that and barbecues and it was a lot of fun. But that's when the kids were younger and now that, you know, we, we sold a lot because we just weren't really going up there that much. Well, let me, let me back up. A31. We had a tree fall on our trailer. We had a 28 foot trailer and a, and a tree fell on it. Completely, I mean, <laughs> the trailer was gone. So we bought a 32 foot trailer and we were, we thought we were being really smart and we put a carport over it, like a really nice carport. We had guys come up and I mean, they like put it up. It was like with steel beams and all that kind of stuff. And it snowed, it was, this was up in the mountains and it snowed one year really bad. Like I don't know, a couple of feet. And I did not know this. You guys can look this up, but like one foot of snow is the, is so heavy. It's like one or two feet of snow is like equivalent to something tons. It's like four cars or something. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I had no idea. Well, it collapsed the carport onto our trailer. Yeah, completely devastated the trailer, completely devastated the carport, it was gone. What a pain getting that out. So we had to have our trailer hauled away to the scrap yard. I mean, the whole thing was just, the kitchen was gone, everything was gone. Um, we were able to salvage our stuff because we only kept stuff up there like for a weekend, like, you know, clothes and stuff for a weekend. Um, and then we just decided after that, we were like, you know what, we're done. Like we've, we felt really defeated. Um, and it was expensive. I mean, we weren't going to replace it again. We had already replaced it. So we were like, we're not, we're not doing this again, but the cabin survived. The cabin never got hit by a tree. And so we sold it to some people. We wanted a certain amount of money for it. So when we bought it, when we bought the lot, the kids were younger and it was right next to a playground. It was perfect. And so we bought the property and stuff and the kids grew up. The kids were older too and they were like not wanting to go up there as much because they wanted to spend more time with their friends. We would, we would bring their friends up there, but um, they were wanting to stay home, play video games and that kind of stuff. And so this we wanted a certain amount of money and this family um, came along and I remember it was a Hispanic family. They didn't hardly speak any English and they had young kids. And my husband was like, you know what? He's like, just the guy was offering, I don't know, like a thousand dollars less than what we were asking for. And my husband, he's such a sucker for it. He's just like, you know what? You can have it. He's like, I'll take it. He's like, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy the time with your kids. Just kind of reminiscing like how much fun we had with our kids and how much fun they were going to have with theirs. And 
Um, I'm assuming that they had a trailer or something like that, but the cabin wasn't big. It wasn't a big cabin. It had a nice wood stove in it. Okay, A37. A37. A30, we're down to the wire here, people. A37, can you believe it? This was quite the kit up, wasn't it? A37. Oh, it's right here. Oh. We have one more after this. This has no ADs in it. I wonder if I should embellish it. it might look cool in the set. Nah, I don't think I'm going to. A38, last one. A38. A here it is. I could do like the sun is what I was thinking, like the sun rays, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's fine the way it is. It'll look fine. And just like that, we were kitted up, my friends. I thank you so much for joining me today and <laughs> and wincing and yelling through the screen at me while I was kidding up. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe button, and I will talk with you soon, my friends. Loves.